All right, so today's video is going to be about webhooks. Um, I'm going to explain what they are, what they are there for, um, how to use them, how to debug them, how to work uh, with webhooks within your Laravel application, within your Shopify application. And um, if you would like to see more videos like this, uh, then please click the like and subscribe. And without further ado, let's go. All right, so before we start working with the webhooks, I just want to quickly explain the difference between polling and webhooks and what kind of problems the webhooks solve. So if your app interacts with another app, for example, a Shopify shop, then there are two ways um, how your app will actually get that data. So version one is polling. That means that your app your uh, Shopify app is constantly asking the shop, um, is there is there any any updates to the uh, to the shop? Is there any updates? So it would always ask, please run a job, right? And then the server would say, all right, I'm, I will run the job. And then the the app doesn't know when that job actually is is done. So that app is constantly asking, is it done? Is it done? Is it done? And you know, you could set an interval of maybe five seconds, ten seconds, or daily, and it would always ask, is it done yet? Is it done yet? And um, that is kind of nerve wracking. I guess the client will get on the server's nerves pretty quickly. But uh, not only that, because servers don't really have feelings, but um, it's always it also takes up a lot of resources. So you would always have to to ask your app would always be um, asking for something and that would um, uh, result in performance issues. And also, you know, it would take up unnecessary um, resources. So that's why we use webhooks and webhooks actually solve that problem. So take a look at um, this graphic right here. We got the webhooks. So now the client is telling the server uh, to run a job or to do something. And um, the the client or your Shopify app that you create will just say, all right, uh, whenever you're ready, just tell me when you're ready and uh, get back at me. And I will mind my own business in, in the meantime, I will not disturb you. So that's what webhooks are there for. So that's just, you know, uh, th that are way less um, requests that your client will make. Just if you compare those, uh, if you compare the, those two graphics, then you got the webhooks right here. And you can see it's telling the server to run a job. The server, server says, all right, I will. And then the server will inform uh, the client whenever it's ready instead of this this uh, right here, right? So uh, this is what we're gonna implement today. It's not that complicated, but you just have to know what you're doing and why you're doing it, right? So let's jump into VS Code. Okay, so I'm in uh, VS Code right here. I have a an example app uh, installed. I got my Laravel application. If you want to know how to create a Shopify app with Laravel, then you can click one of my videos. I will uh, link it here. But uh, basically, if you have your Laravel application and you've done everything correctly, then you will have this uh, configuration file right here, which is shopify-app.php. And um, in here, it's uh, right on the bottom, but you can also look for uh, webhooks and then you will jump to this part right here. So this is the part where you can define your webhooks. And by default, uh, this package has already set it up for you that um, the app uninstalled webhook will be uh, that your app will subscribe to the app uninstalled webhook, which means that um, whenever your app is being uninstalled, then the Shopify store will send a webhook uh, to your app and then your app can deinstall or delete that uh, shop record from your database. But um, we will get to that later. All right. And um, there are many, many more uh, webhooks that Shopify actually is, offers. And uh, you can also click this link right here. It's commented out, but if you press command and click on that link, then you will go here 
it will be redirected to this page right here and you can see all of those um, webhook subscription topics right here and um, there's a whole lot of um, a whole lot of webhooks that you can subscribe to for example if a cart is being create created then you can uh, then Shopify will send a webhook if you subscribe to it or if a collection is deleted if a collection is created and that way you can interact with um, the Shopify merchants merchants shop right so there's a whole bunch of uh, topics as for now we're just working with this app uninstalled um, uh, topic because that is also a requirement by Shopify if you want to get your app submitted so uh, you can play around with all those other topics right here there's just uh, one thing that you need to know the those are uh, some GraphQL topics so they have a, a little bit of a different syntax so if you use a GraphQL topic then you will have to write everything uppercase and a with a underscore <laughs> you, you will have to use a underscore and um, so it's orders paid but if you subscribe to a if you subscribe to that topic from within your uh, Laravel application right here then you will have to write everything in lower case and instead of that underscore you will have to use a dash so if you write it like this then it will then it will work right so now we're gonna just use this uh, this topic right here and if we want to see if the if this works then we can just use PHP artisan Q listen and let's install the app so I just want to show you how it works And you can see here that the queue uh, has been processed and you can see here the, the webhook installer has also been processed. So this means that if I now uninstall my app that uh, a uh, Shopify will send a webhook to my application. All right, so I can here go here by button animation local. I will delete it. And now Shopify is sending a webhook uh, response. But the question is, how do I get it? How do I, I actually respond to this uh, webhook or how can I see if it actually has been sent? Because I'm here on my local application and nothing happened. And also, if I take a look at my database, everything is still the same. And actually, it should have uh, um, deleted it or it should uh, have soft deleted it or anything, but didn't do anything. So a soft deletion would mean that it would just say deleted at and give the current date, but nothing of that, nothing happened, right? And that is because I subscribed uh, this webhook to my local uh, application to this, uh, to my valet uh, URL. You can see here in my app URL, you can see it uh, in my .env file. It's my local uh, test test environment and the Shopify store right here. Uh, they don't have any connection to my local development environment. So what I'm going to do in order to test any webhooks and to see if webhooks are actually working or not, I can now go to this website right here. It's called webhook.site and I can um, copy their URL go back to my shop and just replace this app URL with their app URL, right? So I'm going to save it. I'm going to go back to my, to my shop. Delete this record right here. All right, now I'm going to go back to my shop and I'm going to reinstall the app. You can see here again, the webhook installer 
has been processed successfully. So I'm gonna, I'm, it has installed. Now I'm gonna go back to my apps, uh, delete my app. And now this time when I delete my app, Shopify will send a webhook again, but this time it's not gonna send it to my local uh, de development, to my local app, but it will actually send the webhook to, to this uh, URL right here. And I can check if uh, the webhook is actually being sent or not, and that, that way I can debug it, right? So I, I'm gonna click here, I'm gonna click delete, and if you go back, if you come to that website right here, then you can see that uh, the webhook has been sent successfully. So the webhook is actually working. You can make sure that Shopify is actually uh, sending the webhook. You can see that the app is successfully subscribing to that webhook and you can uh, check everything uh, right here. And um, you can see the content that is being sent, all of the information. And um, so this way you can actually debug your, your webhook because if you uh, type in this URL and you can see that um, this URL is not even receiving a webhook, then you can uh, assume that your app didn't subscribe successfully to that webhook, right? And um, this way you can kind of debug your webhook, you can check what information is being sent to your, to your application. And um, yeah, that is uh, the main way to debug and to test your, your webhooks, right? So if you want your app to work uh, with webhooks, you have to make sure that your uh, that the URL of your app is uh, publicly av available. So you might have to deploy your app to a public server like Heroku or something, because otherwise uh, Shopify uh, will not be able to reach your app if you, if it's just in a local network and not on a public server, right? So maybe. Uh, your webhooks are working, but um, you're on a local network, but you can test your your uh, webhooks with this uh, website right here. I will put the link in the description and that'll do it for me. I hope you like this video. I hope you leave a like and subscribe and see you next time. Bye-bye.